So the first two lethal weapons were fired at police. Joe Pesci, this comic relief has stopped being good. Does that make sense? I also watched the lethal weapon. Um, yes, we're live. Yeah, we're live, Facebook. Sorry, we're talking about bro cop movies. Um, I watched the Lethal Weapon series, and I thought it was very good. Yeah. The TV one until old boy went on a anger tirade and got fired from the show. So. Wait, TV. There was a TV series? Yeah. I missed that entirely. Oh, yeah, it was good. Okay. Hold on one second, Brian. I'm just sharing on Facebook. I'm just doing yeah. the Facebook thing. No, no. Let's take your time. We have a full hour. I like hours. You know, the show doesn't really last an hour. I, I mean, it is an hour in content, but not... I know. All right, so you can kick this pig off whenever you want to. All right. I'm going to go ahead and kill your mic. All right. Good morning. This is Franz Borkart. You're listening to the Go Roo Show, episode 21. Today's episode is about remote learning. And by that, I mean we're in a, we're in a strange place right now. Everybody's hunkered down for the most part, unless you're a pastor in Central, but that's another conversation for another show. And so what's happening is, guys, is we are starting to meet remotely using apps like Zoom and Facebook. FaceTime and other things and learning, whether through a webinar or through an academic program, is starting to be something that we're all kind of looking at since we have this this extra time on our hands. So today's episode, today's episode, we're going to have Kenny Wynn from 368. We're going to have the folks from LSU online. It's going to be good. But before we jump in, I think it's important to introduce Master Control, Brian Haldane. How are you doing, sir? What it do? So, Brian, I, I got to tell you, man, I'm really appreciative of Talk 107.3 letting me come in and, and do this. Um, I'm I'm set up to do remote broadcasting, but candidly, it just it just sounds better, looks better when we're able to do it in studio. So, I, I deeply appreciate you coming in, doing all the hard work, all the commentary you're doing. You're you're working like 24 hour days, man. It's crazy. It's close. It's close. It's close. close. So, the Go Roo Show is brought to you by the following sponsors. Smith Shanklin Sosa Law Firm, personal injury law firm. I, I said it last week. I'll say it again. If you've got business interruption questions or business interruption claims that you want to explore, you need to contact these guys. Smith Shanklin Sosa, Breck, Louisiana Tech Park, Sullivan Steakhouse, and the Bar Borkhart Law Firm. All right. So, we got a couple of things to do before we jump on with Kenny. I want to talk about a couple of events we have coming up, Brian. Um, first and foremost, on April 16th, we are, we, Go Rouge, is organizing a blood drive with Our Lady of the Lake, and it is going to be at Sullivan's. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5. Now, I'm going to give a caveat. Because of everything that's going on, Our Lady of the Lake may need to shift this date. So, for now, we're locked in on that date at April 16th, Thursday, 10 to 5. Um, it's going to be in the parking lot area. They are going to deploy safety measures to make sure that your donation, you're going to be screened, uh, everything they can do to make it as safe as possible to donate uh, will be done. We're in a blood shortage right now, guys. So additionally, if you donate blood, Brian, you can get a 20% discount on a to-go order from Sullivan's as a thank you from Sullivan's for donating. So that's going to be, again, Our Lady of the Lake Go Rouge Blood Drive, Thursday, April 16th, 10 to 5. 20% discount on Sullivan's. Also, I want to talk about a charity shirt initiative that's being put on. Uh, go to sticktogetherbr.com. That's being put on by Red Six Media and Giraffic Prints. Um, the proceeds from these T-shirts um, is going to be donated to Brath to help with the coronavirus efforts, um, first responders and whatnot. So, again, it's sticktogetherbr.com. It's being put on by the folks at Red Sticks Media and Giraffic Prints. Those shirts are actually pretty darn decent. They're very reasonable, and the proceeds are going to be going to charity. 
Last but not least, before we jump on with Kenny, um, I will be doing, speaking of webinars, I will be doing a webinar this Thursday at 10.30 a.m. with Dr. Tatiana Patel. She is a physician at the Baton Rouge Clinic. She does infectious diseases. Um, she's going to be talking a little bit about safety and things that you need to be thinking about, um, things that we already probably know and have heard, but she's going to reinforce some of those things. And it's going to be coming from a doctor, not just one of us. So uh, that's going to be Thursday, Dr. Tatiana Patel, 1030 on Facebook Live on Go Rouge, and I'll try to convince the folks at 107.3 to also share it on that side as well. So that being said, let's jump on in with Kenny from 368. How's it going, Franz? Hey, Kenny. How's it going, man? How's the family? Dude, it's great, man. You know, dude, dude I've this been, is kind of the kind of the time to just relax and uh, get back to the things that really matter. Right? I've been I've been thinking about your you, your wife, and your and your and your child, your dog, um, your little Corky. <laughs> So, look, man, I appreciate you making time um, to, to get on with us today on this topic of remote learning. And the reason, guys, that we're talking to Kenny is Kenny. Um, Kenny works with a bunch of very talented folks over at 368. And I got an email from Kenny um, about a week ago that Kenny is organizing, or the th folks from 368 are organizing, a webinar um, that's entitled Creators in the Time of Coronavirus. It's going to be... Thursday, April 2nd, um, from 12 to 1 Central. So you can you can watch Dr. Patel on, on the Go Rouge page, and then you can tune in at, at 12 to this, to this webinar. And I want to talk about it, and I want to talk about remote learning and it, l remote training and remote creativity, Kenny. Yeah. All right. So you've adjusted, obviously, to what's going on. What are some of your observations about – in your world, in the business world, what are we what are we seeing emerge, and what are the opportunities for remote learning? I mean, remote learning, man, it's kind of like remote working. And at the end of the day, you know, people can learn from anywhere, and it's getting through that mental block of physical borders. Of this can be the limit of what I can learn. I mean, I've always been a fan of remote learning. I mean, yeah, I took a class recently on disruptive innovation through uh, Harvard Harvard Business School. It's probably the only degree that I ever had in my life. It's just a certificate. But I'll tell you this. Hey, you framed that it? It's, it's, you some, it's basically should be. For, I lost it. I'm sorry. You lost it. <laughs> you got something from Harvard and it you lost it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Apparently, like, I'll never have a degree or a certificate I can show. But the purpose is this, is that people are on the edge right now of remote learning. I'll tell you, that course right there was almost better than any live course I've ever taken because it knew how to engage you. It knew how to teach, like, keep your attention. I think the conversation on remote learning is a little bit deeper. It's not just about remote learning. It's about how can we engage people through all this noise? If you think about it, when you're on a computer, you're fighting with everything. You're fighting with text messages, Slack, you know, go to webinar, everything that you can imagine, YouTube. How do you keep people engaged? I think the narrative is shift shifting now is realizing, okay, it's not just remote learning that's giving us the technology capabilities. It's figuring out how do we communicate to people to keep their attention. I mean, I, I, it's probably cool if I give an example. I can humble brag on one of my uh, people at the office. Sure. So Haley Johnson did a Lunch and Learn last week. She's our content strategist at 368. She has to keep the attention. I think there are about 17 people on the call. That's a lot of attention, okay, that you have to keep. And what she did was she did a webinar on how to – figure out your professional values and your goals for the next year. And she, and she did like a master class on how people, people engage. She had a presentation that was very short. Every three minutes, she asked the chat to give their feedback. And every five minutes, she asked us to break apart and say, hey, why don't y'all go and do this? But then you have to report on what you're doing here. And so she is really teaching us on how do we keep people engaged when there's so much distraction. And really what it is, it's one, it's accountability, letting people know that they're playing the role of an actual participant, not an observer in remote learning. Two, it's actually making sure that people know that they have to speak up, but also that they're part of this, uh, they're part of this discussion too. And then finally, it's, you know, creating that sense of, hey, you know, I'm super present. Please respect my time. Right. And it was probably one of the best remote learning opportunities I've ever had. And I walked away from that going, wow, she just schooled us. So and it taught taught me like you can you can you can engage through remote learning. So it's, the interesting it's not just a tool. 
the interesting thing for me right now is you, you use the phrase noise. And part of what we're experiencing right now, which I think is a very interesting dynamic, is the noise is in part helplessness. The noise is in part an inability to do things that we normally do. The, the noise is the quiet of our house. And, you know, that noise can be louder. That noise can be louder than, say, the hustle and bustle of normal life. So I like I like the fact I like the fact that you guys are are doing what you're doing. I want to talk about your webinar that's coming up this Thursday. And, and and look, this radio show is going to drop on Saturday this weekend. So by the time it hits the radio, it, the webinar will have come and gone. But I still want to talk about it for those listening on Facebook. Talk to me about what was the what was the drive behind this webinar? I mean, you guys, 368 normally does phenomenal phenomenal events uh through the assembly required series um i've gone to some of your other smaller events what was the impetus for for doing this webinar this thursday i mean dude we i mean for those of y'all that don't know what assembly required is it's a community event series that highlights the best talent of louisiana but also brings in outside talent to help inspire the talent of louisiana well franz as you know you're a previous speaker here yes. is that this comes at you know we, we try to create that sense of learning, but also that sense of engagement where people feel like I'm going to walk away with not takeaways, but actual things I can do in the next 72 hours or less. Right. Well, we were planning to relaunch Assembly Required for this year. Then the COVID stuff happened. Right. And we still have people that are asking me like every week, when are you bringing back? How are you going to bring it back? And without committing to anything, we said, you know what? How about we just give a taste of and just test out really what an Assembly event could be online. And we have actually Jessica Carson. She's the director of innovation for the American Psychological Association. And she's also the author of this upcoming book called Wire This Way. Really phenomenal person. Um, she pitched us an idea to speak at for assembly this year. And we said, yeah. And so, spoiler alert, she was going to be one of the speakers. Right. Well, <laughs> what happened was uh, the COVID stuff happened. And she comes back to me and says, hey, I'm working on this new uh, webinar called Creators in the Time of Coronavirus. I was like, whoa, 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 stop right there. Tell me what that's about. And she told it to me. I said, dude, that's totally what our audience would love, is that right now they're dealing with time that they didn't previously have, but also they might have time to explore their creativity. And she's like, I could totally hit on that subject. So I was like, well, show me what you got. Excellent. And she did. And I was like, I walked away from that webinar, and she did a test one on me. I walked away just scratching my head going, oh, wow, this really needs, our audience really needs to see this. Uh, so we decide we're going to do our first ever webinar at 368. We're going to test this out. It's not an assembly required event, but we are going to make it a assembly required engagement quality, things I learned from Haley uh, last week. And that's going to be where we're going to take our stand on remote learning. Okay. Is, you know, you always expect us to do good events, Franz. That's not going to stop. Just the format's going to change. Well, so we're going to make sure, and it has to change. Happen. It has to change, right? I mean, yeah. I was I was on a webinar last night, and we were talking about lawyers, and I said, you know, candidly, there is no realistically in 2020, there is no need for me to attend law school physically. Everything could be done remotely. Every classroom mm -hmm. now could be done remotely. Now, what I think is interesting about your webinar that you guys are going to be presenting again Thursday, April second, twelve to one central. I like the idea of isolation. I like the idea of you have this opportunity right now. I mean, once you're done cleaning out your house, once you're done organizing stuff that you haven't looked at in years because you just it hadn't been a priority, once you're done and you're left to 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 yourself, you have this opportunity to be creative in this in this environment where there's not a lot of stuff to do right now. In the same mm -hmm. breath, that creativity is going to be affected by trauma. It's going to be affected by anxiety. It's going to be affected by your surroundings. I mean, you know, I, I sat there yesterday, Kenny, to be candid, I, I sat there yesterday and I asked myself, you know, my Go Rouge episodes right now are all about are all about what's going on peripherally. So I'm talking to you about remote learning as it, as it relates to, to our environment and the coronavirus. What would, and I asked myself, what would I be doing if, if I wasn't covering this kind of stuff? And, you know, I started brainstorming and I, and I started coming up with, you know, that stuff is, is, is some of the topics that I was coming up with would, would be tone deaf to the, to what's going on. Some of them just wouldn't be relevant. So, you know, I think it's interesting that you guys are bringing this 
seminar with a psychological component. You know, crisis, sickness, isolation. Now, look, they'll they'll be like a they'll be like a Q and A component of this too. Correct? Yeah, they will be at the end. Okay. We're still going to keep the engagement going. Now, look, if you want to sign up for this this webinar, if you want to attend, where would you direct people at this point? I would say uh, at this point, go to our uh, LinkedIn or our Facebook. It's the most recent post. You'll get the information that you're looking for there. Awesome, awesome. So, just I don't I don't ever want to lock Kenny Wynn into anything. I know I know I know commitment is a <laughs> is a interesting thing for you in terms of programming. I anticipate this being successful. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go here in advance and say I think this is going to be a successful webinar. Um, do you envision? Do you envision? You know, as long as, you know, we've we've been extended, I think, throughout April and, and there's been rumbles that we may be we may be asked to stay home even later than that. Do you envision continuing this webinar series or or doing more webinars? Uh, Franz, you love doing this to me, man. Um, I do love doing this to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, that's the thing is, like, my team hates it when I – uh no, I overcommit. I know. Um, right I know. Now, right now, in my mind, man, one at a time. I mean, like, I don't even know what's going to happen next month. Uh, if it does go well, either we're going to bring maybe this speaker back for a future assembly in sure. August, you know, praying for that. Or, you know, I might say to the Go Rouge, uh, honestly, like Go Rouge, like audience, tell me about the topics and creativity that sure. you want to hear. Tell me about the topics in marketing you want to hear. Like, maybe we'll take a public poll, but, you know, I'm leaning on yes. I want to see how this first one goes sure. first. This will be a good test pilot for you guys. Now, yeah. look, the other question is, if you cannot attend this webinar, are you guys going to archive it, save it, and archive it to, to watch later? Yeah, we are. Awesome, awesome. Now, look, before we got a little bit of time left with you, Kenny, I want to talk a little bit about your online learning experience. You mentioned the Harvard class. If you were giving advice out there to folks about where they should be looking, um, where they should be looking, where they should be trying to get resources and knowledge where would you direct them oh that's a really good uh question man and i don't know <laughs> like i found Thanks, out Kenny. <laughs> that, that, i know like, that's super useful i'm like halfway joking but look you know if people really want to go online learning man um there's classes like you know i love master class i do a lot of master class like i've been through the bob Iger one with disney mm -hmm. i've been through the chris voss one with negotiation it's phenomenal classes on master class that's really produced. That is a lot less stressful than the Harvard Business School classes, which is you have assignments every week. You have to communicate as a team. You do have to do group assignments as well. That's a really different experience. So, like, on the university level, every university that's trying to stay competitive right now is offering classes and leisure classes as well online. You know, LSU, which is going to be on the show in a little bit, they're offering classes too for you to help get your degree, your PhD. Like, those are things that are available now. You universities know, like you know Stanford, right, right, all right. the Ivy League ones, they got it. But you know, look at classes like Masterclass. I love uh, Ideo. Ideo is one of my favorite ones. Um, it's a consulting firm that teaches on like creativity and design thinking. That's one that I'm really hot on. But if you really want to like just go out and learn, man, like I think a good start is just Masterclass. That's a good tiptoe into the water of what is your commitment and your level to remote learning. Because I mean, Franz, everyone learns differently, man. So you know, it's What's interesting to me is, yeah. not to interrupt you, what's interesting to me is I want you to think back to the Renaissance where we had these coffee houses where people would come together, they'd drink coffee or tea, and at the coffee house you would share knowledge, right? And so I know that's a little, I know that's a little lofty. Brian's giving me a look right now. I'm getting a little deep here. But I say yeah, that. I say that. <laughs> well, Starbucks in the Renaissance? Well, listen, listen. I say that because what I've been experiencing is, um, you know, one of the organizations I'm in is Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. Okay, and they just did on Sunday. They're doing educational webinars, and I I attended Sunday night a webinar about Scotch, the history of Scotch, how to how to pick Scotch, uh, all sorts of different things, you know. So to me, to me, and then you know, on top of that, now not that drinking is a healthy, you know, a healthy ambition to, of intellectual uh, prowess, but you know attending cigar virtual cigar lounges where we're talking about different issues and so i think the part of this learning conversation is not just attending a webinar but attending group zoom or group opportunities where you're talking and connecting to people look we're starving 
right now, if you're if you're normal, unless you're a sociopath, you're starving for connection, right? You're starving yeah. for that community that you can't have right now. For God's sakes, we can't we can't be but six feet, you know, together at this point, you know. Yeah. And so, and so, I'm, what I'm finding interesting is, and where I'm actually getting some learning from is some of these these groups where they're just meeting and chatting. You know, whether it's a bourbon society seminar on scotch or a bourbon, I am teaching a seminar next Sunday on cigars and bourbon and, and how to pair cigars and bourbon. So it's little things like that. You know, you know, I'm a hobby guy, so I'm looking for new hobbies. I can, you know, maybe, maybe I can make like the next, I can be the next woodworking craftsman or something. I don't know, but, but yeah, I don't know. So is there any, Kenny, we got about three minutes. Is there anything that you've been curious about that you're filling your time with now, you know, now that you have this time? And I'm not saying, look, 368 is cranking. So, I mean, just because you're remote working doesn't mean you guys aren't working right now. But is there anything that you've always wished you had a little bit more time to look into that you're now doing because of what's going on? No. <laughs> I don't know what Thanks, answer. Kenny. You know, I, <laughs> this I, is I the best. <laughs> You know, really, man, like, I've been able to focus, not maybe, like, here's the thing, I've always had my average creativity, man, like, throwing events, like, I found a way to do that in a different way, you know, but what I really need the most, man, was that I always lean so much more on the professional side of things, the creativity side of things, mm -hmm. I never took a step back and just said, how about I just relax with my family, we do some small creative things together, I do, I did a puzzle the other day, and it felt so rewarding, you know? It's. I think what this time is now, man. It's a good reset, right. you know, for you to really prioritize what's important. But I think this is the underlying factor here, man. We have to be better communicators more than ever because people today, man, they don't want good news. They just want clarity. They don't know when this is going to end. So if you're facilitating webinars, you better be a damn better facilitator. Right. You know, you have to be become a way better communicator. You know, if you're going to engage in like actual uh, in a webinar online. You know what you have to do? You have to be more present. And right. being more present will allow you to be more creative as well. So I think as just as the the output of this, man, just the byproduct, is I think we'll become a much more creative society because we're feeling repressed. We're feeling like we can't be together. And on top of that, we just have to be much more present. And like just being present, it's going to come up with you know new creativity and new inspiration. For me, man, I was halfway joking, like I mentioned earlier. Um, if, I, if there anything that I was working on, it is uh, a little bit of my stand-up comedy routine. I'm uh, refining a little bit oh, because, I, yeah, I just can't wait to get on stage with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been talking to Kenny Wynn from 368. Kenny, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to let you go. But, but dude, we're very excited about Thursday, April 2nd, 12 to 1. Um, 368 is doing its first ever webinar. Have a great day, Kenny. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron. So before we go to our first break, I want to talk about something else. Speaking of being online, I don't know if you knew this or not, Brian, but Go Rouge has a little little website. We have GoRougeBR.com. And if you've been wanting to get more Go Rouge in your life, if you've been wanting to find out more about our social media opportunities, the radio show, um, a blog, we do a little bit of blogging. If you want to learn more about that, you should go to www.GoRougeBR.com. It is launching this week. It's it's a soft launch right now. It's it's up right now, but it's it's going to be formally launching. Um, but the coolest thing about this site is you really can go back to to look at all twenty one of our past episodes. You can catch some of the blogs that I've done in the past. Um, you get you get connected to social media, so definitely check it out and definitely follow us on the different social media platforms, including YouTube. We're on, we're on YouTube. We got a Go Rouge YouTube channel, Brian. You're aware of this. So we're going to take our first break, and then we're going to come back with the folks from LSU Online. we got Charlotte and Dr. Sasha. So don't go anywhere. We will be back. So Facebook Live, don't go anywhere. We're going to, we're going to be connecting with LSU Online. Just give us a couple of seconds, and we will start our second half. Have you done, Brian, while you're, while you're doing this, have you done anything – have you done anything in terms of educational onlining? I know you're super busy right now. I know you're super busy. Yeah, I've barely had time. To, so right. I've had um, a couple of Zoom meetings, but not in a webinar uh, space, more in the, along the lines of uh, getting ready for an upcoming retreat. Right. So, so I mean, I know you, you need to call these people, but, but I, I got to tell you, I was thinking about it in my house the other day. Man, you've probably learned more about pandemics and viruses 
based on what you have to do commentary wise. Dude, it's been insane. Uh, yes, right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You said this episode twenty one. I think this is episode twenty one. The restaurant one that we did last week was, was 19, 19, and, and then I did, did another one at 20, so this is 21. Gotcha. Man, it, time flies, man. We started this thing We started this thing in, like, November. Well, let me get segment one saved, then I'll get them on the Sure, uh, no problem. On the phone. So if you're listening out there, if you're listening out there and there's some webinars that you really like or some online learning, please send it our way because I'm going to blog on this after after the show. And I want to share any and all resources we can we can share with each other. I mean, look, this is an opportunity in as much as we have to isolate, in as much as we have to stay by ourselves. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to get a little learning done. Um, spend time with your family, of course. But, you know, Fisher, dude, my four-year-old's been Legoing it up, up in this place, man. We played Clue Friday night. Interesting. Interesting. My twelve year old beat me. Well, beat all of us. Does that say something about your twelve year old or is that it say says something a lot about more about you? her? She's okay. very astute and borderline okay. cheats. Uh, borderline cheats. It's clue, man. You're looking for everything from I got you. I got you. You know, you could ju- she could judge on like where you're writing down on the paper whether or not you're crossing off a, a, a suspect, a weapon, or a, a room in the house. I got you. Like she she breaks it down. Love it. I'm going to do the intro before I talk to these folks. Yeah. And then. The marvels of Facebook Live. So obviously, with everything that's going on right now, guys, we are basically we are basically doing call-in radio, um, which is not bad because we still get to do the show. Um, but but what that means is we can't have physical guests. Um, we will be doing some Zoom uh, live streaming later this week. Like I said earlier, we're going to be doing Doctor yeah. Patel. We're going to be doing we're going to be doing Doctor Patel Thursday, ten thirty on uh, Facebook Live for Go Rouge. Drop okay? I would like Welcome to the Jungle's bump music. Can we do that? Is that is that too is that too much? <laughs> um it's okay, we're not going anywhere. We'll be done we'll be done far before 11 o'clock. By the way, guys, if you're listening, uh, Richard Condon and Brian Haldane are going to jump on at 11. Coronavirus coverage. So, yeah. Shout out to Chelsea. Chelsea, we miss you. It's always a better show with Chelsea in here. Most of the time. Shout out to Richard Sprinkle. All right, you ready? Yep. Stand by. All right. Welcome back to the Go Roosh Show. This is Franz Borkhart. You're listening to the second segment of episode 21. We're talking about remote learning today, and we've got a great half for you. We've got the folks from LSU Online. We're going to be talking about degree programs as well as just some learning programs uh, that can better you. 
Um, we're going to get to them in just a second. First, the Go Roo Show is brought to you by the Smith Shanklin Sosa Law Firm. Great personal injury firm. Also a great firm to bring your your business interruption claims. Call them. They're waiting for your call. I've been talking to them. They are the guys to talk to on this. Breck, Louisiana Tech Park, Sullivan Steakhouse, and the Borkhart Law Firm. In the first half, we talked about a few things we have coming up, and I want to reiterate those. On April 16th, Thursday, April 16th, we are going to do a Go Rouge blood drive with Our Lady of the Lake from 10 to 5 at Sullivan's. It's going to be in the parking lot area. It's going to be it's going to be oriented towards safety. There'll be screening. There'll be safety measures in place by Our Lady of the Lake. And if you donate, you get a 20% discount on your to-go order from Sullivan's. Also, I want to promote the StickTogetherBR.com initiative. It's a t-shirt initiative brought to you by Red Stick Media, Red Sick Me- Six Media. I keep doing that, Brian. It's Red Six Media and Giraffic Prints. You buy the shirt, the money gets donated to BRAF to help with relief efforts. Look, last and certainly not least, later this week at 1030 on Thursday, and we're going to record this on the Go Rouge page and we'll, we'll keep it up there, we're going to sit down with Dr. Tatiana Patel, who is a physician of infections, infectious diseases at Baton Rouge Clinic. We're going to talk to her about things you absolutely need to know from an expert about this coronavirus. Um, that is going to be Thursday, 1030, Facebook Live, April 2nd. It's going to be on the Go Rouge page. We'll also ask them to share it on the Talk 107.3 page. That being said, it's time to get to Sasha and Charlotte, Dr. Sasha and Charlotte from LSU Online. These guys have made some time with us to talk about some exciting things that you can do right now from the from the quiet of your home that will better you, educate you, and get you to some new places. Hello. Hey Thank guys, how's it going? Us. No problem, Doc. Hey, look, I've got Dr. Sasha and Charlotte on Zoom, Marvels of Technology, with LSU Online. Look, guys, I'm excited that you're on. We we've been talking about remote learning, online training. I want to talk about LSU Online, so we're just going to jump into this. What is LSU Online? Uh, I'm glad you asked. I always like to start that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are actually kind of a central services and support unit for fully online degrees and also for faculty and professional development. We represent 65 fully online degrees at the bachelor's level, at the master's level, and also we have a whole bunch of what we call micro-creds. They are very short-form learning experiences in very targeted fields like project management. Leadership. Leadership. Uh, Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. You had a little experience with that, right? I am am a micro-cred graduate of a leadership class. I didn't, shamefully, I must say, I loved the class. Um, I, I was, oh, I'm so glad. I was able to tune in before everything got crazy. I was able to do like 70, 80% of it. So hopefully I'll finish it up, but man, it was, it was a great experience and it was fun. You know, it was just good, simple learning. It wasn't anything. It didn't require heavy lifting on my part in terms of, of accessibility. So I'm definitely a fan of the micro credits. So you guys have, you guys have two kind of things going on the micro credits and then actual degree programs, correct? Absolutely, full degrees, and we uh, offer degrees through LSU A and M in Baton Rouge, and also LSU Alexandria, LSU Unit, and we just launched our Masters in Public Health through LSU Shreveport and the Shreveport Health Science Center, Very which cool. is particularly timely given what's going on. Yeah. So, how have you got? I mean, look, you you guys are designed for remote learning. That's kind of like your shtick. Mm-hmm. So with everything that's going on, with people being kind of out of some jobs, with people wanting to, thirsty is the word I'm going to use, thirsty for knowledge, hungry for knowledge. What yeah. are you guys doing right now to help facilitate the transition of people learning about something they may not have known before? What are you guys doing to get bring people into the fold of LSU Online right now? That is a fantastic question. We actually have a little announcement. Awesome. I'm going to let Charlotte make that announcement. I do want to say that this is so mission-centric Good. for what we do at LSU. We have a very intense land-grant mission. 
to serve the state and serve our citizens, and this is another way we can do it. But I'm not going to steal the glory. I'm going to let Charlotte make the announcement. Hey, Charlotte, what's going on? Hi, Franz. So, So, hot off the press, we're excited to announce that we have a career change scholarship available to those who are displaced from their jobs due to the situations around COVID-2019. Awesome. So this is going to include a 20% discount on specific online professional development certificates and micro cred programs so that people can jump into fields that are high value in demand that that are available to career changers immediately. So how does someone apply for this, this discounted scholarship program? Absolutely. So um, information is going to be available on our website, online.lsu.edu. Uh, again, hot off the press, we wanted to make sure your listeners found out about it first. We're awesome. loading that Thank you. content right now. So, okay. So the I was in a webinar or I was in a group discussion yesterday um, where we talked about online learning. I was telling the, the people in there that I was going to be interviewing you guys, and I talked about learning a vocation remotely. And so the, the conversation became, well, what are the types of vocations that you can learn online and remotely? Because, you know, like, for example, for example, someone said, you know, look, you know, you can, there's only so much about plumbing that you can learn before you have to actually touch a pipe, which I agree with. Right. But there's, oh, yes. but there's, I agree with it too. <laughs> yeah. So there's so many fields, but, but, but the counter to that is there's so many fields and opportunities right now in terms of vocation. Can you guys talk a little bit about some of your programs so that we can, we can kind of share what are the opportunities? Absolutely. So, We have a lot available in technology, and we're developing more in the technology field. Um, Historically, the business field, for folks who want to learn more about analytics or are interested in that MBA or have some experience and want to actually finish their undergraduate degree, and maybe it's not exactly in the field they've been in in the past, but they're transitioning to something new, there's some things that we don't teach online. Right. Um, I actually have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance, and we don't offer those types of degrees online for obvious reasons. But interestingly, for the fall, we are looking at what do some blended models look like, right? What does it look like when you're doing, you know, half or 75% of your degree online and then having some more intensive in-person experiences? So one of the things, just to transition a little bit, guys, one of the things I love about you guys, about LSU Online, is the 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 customer service. I'm going to use the phrase customer service, Charlotte. The, the ease of opportunity in terms of when you reach out, there's somebody that helps you. I want you to talk a little bit about the process because it might be a little daunting to somebody. Look, applying to college, period, can be a scary and, and nerve-wracking experience. But the way you guys have it set up is very mainstreamed. And I want you guys to talk a little bit about, you know, let's say Brian decides tomorrow he wants to go back and get a degree in something, you know, when he's not broadcasting 20 hours a day. How does that process work? Walk me through that. Well, sure. Well, here at LSU. Go ahead. I'll take that one, Sasha. Here at LSU Online, we like to tout our world-class concierge service. So we have concierges standing by to help you from the very beginning, you know, you say you're interested in the scholarship, you're interested in a degree, they walk you through, how do I apply? How do I find out about financial aid? How do I get enrolled? How do I register? What do I need to be prepared for? Right. And there's an element of that that is, how am I going to be successful as an online student? And then also, how am I going to balance this with everything else I have going on in my life? And so they really are that support system for you so that you can really concentrate on being successful in that online classroom. Awesome. So I have a prediction and we were talk again, we were talking about this in my little, I'm going to say it. I have a, a cigar group that meets virtually right now. And one of the things we were talking about is I think you guys are going to see an influx of, of, of students that decide, Hey, you know what? Even when the dust clears from this, I just feel more comfortable doing remote learning. I, I feel more comfortable mm-hmm. doing online and, uh, learning and, 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 and who's going to blame those guys? You know, I'm not advocating for hysterics, but, but, but I don't necessarily think these people are going to be wrong. And, and I think that there are going to be more and more people enrolling in LSU online because it's one, it's safe. The resources are phenomenal. Um, I want to also talk about, 
you, you guys touched on the public health concentration. Can we go back to that for a second? Absolutely. So there's um, a master's in public health that we offer through Shreveport. One of our big programs, though, is our RN to BSN program that we have at um, LSU Alexandria. And we are in partnership discussions with some of our other partners across the LSU system to stand up additional degrees related to public health right now. Um, There was a demand before in this field. Right. We were projected to have shortages of workers in this area. But, you know, we have a, an accelerated online program for the RN to BSN, which we anticipate, you know, seeing even higher demand now. You know, I, I've got a law degree. I, I, I practice mostly criminal defense, you know, but, but I think at the other side of this is I think you may start seeing people want to teach. And I, mm. and I, and I want to talk a little bit about, cause that's another question I get asked is who's teaching these courses. And I, and my response was, well, professors, <laughs> teachers, <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. so, so, so talk a little bit about the curriculum in terms of who teaches LSU online courses. That very, very good question. So we actually have on kind of the degree and um, graduate certificate side of the house. Those are all the same professors that you would encounter on campus. Okay. And they're the same degrees and they have the same admissions requirements. So sometimes there's this perception that an online degree is watered down, right? Right. It is absolutely not watered down. We have a whole team of learning experience designers. We have our same research faculty. The high quality is absolutely there. Good. For our microcreds, which are more targeted to short-form learning and oftentimes are not for credit, though we also have microcreds that offer credit towards a degree, um, a lot of those folks we get from the field. They're professionals who are working in their field right now in various, you know, in technology or in leadership or in construction management or whatever, whatever that field is. So that is absolutely like folks who are doing that thing right now. So what's interesting to me is if you look at the job market right now, okay, obviously a lot of people are out of jobs. However, if you look at the market of things that are, that are thriving, you know, I was talking to a car dealership. They're selling cars. They're still selling cars. Um, I was talking mm-hmm. to a mortgage brokerage com- uh, company and they were like, look, you know, refinances is, is, is hot right now. Um, you know, I was talking to, I was talking to realtors, you know, it's, it, there are some areas working in a grocery store, managing a grocery store, you know, there are some areas that are, are going to, to, to rise as everything else sinks. And I think, you know, I think there are a lot of opportunities in terms of what you guys offer, um, whether it's the public health, whether it's, it's construction management, because, because people are still building right now. You know, uh, you mm-hmm. know, maybe maybe at a safe distance, maybe at a six foot social distancing. But, you know, it's interesting to me because I, I think what's going to happen is we're going to redefine what jobs are priority um, and what jobs have sustainability. And that model is going to be I think you're going to see it with your programming. So we got a little bit of time left, guys. What else do we need to talk about, Charlotte? What else have we what else about LSU online do the, do the listeners out there need to know? Well, we've got a couple of launching programs, and I think that with the with the setup that you just talked about in terms of our future economic job demand, uh, one of the ones that we're offering this summer is a Bachelor's of Science in Learning Experience Design and Innovation. Okay. And so how do you take the, the information that you normally deliver traditionally, whether that's in a classroom, whether that's to a training audience, um, in an employer setting, and how do you deliver that virtually? How do you embed the educational principles around that? And so um, there's a lot of emerging fields that we're developing degrees around. That's one. Analytics is another one coming up in the fall. Um, And then again, all of the career-centric microcreds that we have available online. There's a lot in the technology space that I think people will find quite attractive if they're looking for a career change. So... So and me, one of the things that we're really go ahead. Sorry, passionate about is the difference between helping people get a job 
and helping people get a career that provides family sustaining wages. I think that's right. Important. So part of this is, yeah, it's really that ecosystem of economic development whereby we help people get the skills they need to become attractive and valuable to businesses that we can then attract to the state. And it becomes a very, um, it becomes almost a virtual circle, a virtual cycle, if you will. So that's a really big part of how we choose our programming. Right. So let's talk about the difficult point of the conversation, as I tell my clients when I start talking about money. Um, Right now, tuition, first and foremost, can I take student loans out to pay for my tuition for LSU online? Is it like normal... I mean, I know that sounds like a stupid question, but someone is going to ask that, and I figured I'd be the I'd oh, be the guy. Absolutely. So, so tell to me yeah, about it, how it I is. can pay for my college experience through LSU Online. So, obviously, there are federal loans and there are student loans for students who are eligible for TOPS. They can utilize top funding for their online degree. There are a lot of other options as well. So, for example, most of our students, actually ninety two percent bring credit in from a previous institution, and we have very generous uh, credit transfer policies, so a student can bring in up to 75% of their credit. Awesome. Uh, The other option we have is prior learning assessment. So if folks have a certification, say from SHRM, or they have an AWS certification, they can bring those to us, and we can provide college credit for the comparable courses. So there are a bunch of different ways that we really help keep the degrees affordable and we accelerate degree completion because it's all about getting people to be able to use these skills in their lives. So So it's actually, you would be pleasantly surprised. Our degrees are much more affordable than something like Capella or University of Phoenix and they're much higher quality. Wonderful. So, so again, We've, we've got some time, and I do want to talk about the micro courses for a lot of different reasons before we go. Again, Charlotte, if you want to get more information about LSU online, what is the website again? Online.lsu.edu. All right, so we're going to transition a little bit. You know, some of our, by the way, guys, some of our guests that we've had on the Guru Show have actually been LSU online students. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to honor FERPA and not loud cap anybody. <laughs> But we've had some guests that actually were taking online courses. And, and look, I want to talk about my experience with LSU Online. Brian, I took a micro course on leadership. And it was it was interesting because the course had DIY, so to speak, where you would read and then you would take, take assignments. Um, there was a component where you could talk to other students taking the class. So, like, I could actually reach out to the other students in the class and, and we could share. In fact, some of the homework assignments were that we were supposed to share certain things about ourselves to the other students. Um, there was supplemental resources if we wanted to dig deeper into the topics that we were talking about. So that was available. Um, you know, and, and I sensed that with some of these, there were, you know, and, and look, so we're clear. Some of the, some of the learning is you do it on your own and you read and you, and you do stuff just like you would do in a normal class. And some of it's actually lectures. So I loved my leadership class. I want to talk about some more opportunities with these classes. Maybe you have a degree, but you're like, Hey, I want to, since I have a little bit of time on my hands, can I take a course? What kind of courses are out there again so that we can talk about that? Charlotte, do you want to speak to the portfolio a little bit? We have a very wide portfolio now, which we're very proud of. Absolutely. So we've got offerings from the microcreds and accounting. We've got management and leadership. We've got some HR content. We have technical writing. Um, of course, the technology focus. We've got a whole host of classes being released in DevOps. Uh, I think the collection is going to include 12 microcreds once we're done releasing them. Um, we're working on some content with AWS as well. So we're really leveraging a lot of our um, partnership opportunities, whether that be employers with the content that they're providing to their employees or associations uh, like SHRM or ATD, as to how can we pull those outcomes into a learning experience um, that will really set you up to learn the skills and outcomes that you need to be successful. 
And then again, this is all created with a vision or a pathway on if you wanted to continue into a graduate certificate, a master's degree, a bachelor's degree, how are those skills going to work for you towards that degree as well? So we haven't talked about it. Can you get a master's degree from LSU Online? Absolutely. We have a collection of 15 to 20, right, Sasha? Awesome. Yeah, I think I think we're closing in on 20 by the end of this coming year. So I have always, I'm going to regret saying this because I hope my wife's not listening. I've always wanted to get my PhD. <laughs> I, I have sincerely wanted to be, so I have a JD, I have a Juris Doctorate, but nobody calls a lawyer a doctor. And there's a, there's an arrogant ego side of me that wants to be Dr. Borkart. You know, I'm, I've already looked like Dr. Evil. I just want to be Dr. Borkart. So I, you know, I have flirted with the idea. There's a couple of fields that I really like. I've flirted with the idea of, of, of doing a remote online PhD program, um, which obviously has to start with me getting some, some graduate credits because if it's not law, I'm, I'm behind on the curve, so to speak. So I'm excited that you guys are doing graduate programs. Look, we, we're, we, we've got a little bit, just a little bit more time left. Last time, what do they need to know that we've talked about? Let's let's reiterate, what do they need to know closing out about LSU Online? Well, since Charlotte's our partnership expert, I'm going to let her give the, uh, the, the cl- recap. The closing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So it, it's an exciting time for us. We're trying to make sure that we're being good support system to the entire university, considering the online needs on behalf of our students. Um, in this current climate, and then also being responsive to where our prospects and students are considering the economic impacts of what we're seeing with COVID. So with that, we're focused 100% on how do we help career changers? How do we help with in-demand fields? How do we provide a flexible and convenient learning experience that meets your current needs, whether you're a traditional learner or a non-traditional learner? Well, we really take full advantage of the time that you have right now. Well, we are sadly out of time. Uh, I will certainly share some of this stuff with the Go Rouge community. Thank you, guys. Charlotte, Sasha, thank you guys for joining us. Y'all have a great day. Guys, thank you for having us. Guys, that's about it for this episode of the Go Rouge Show. Brian, Franz, wishing you a safe, healthy week. We'll see you guys next week. Bye bye, Facebook. Sorry, we went a little over that time, but look, I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some posting about LSU online, and I'm going to do some posting about um, Kenny's um, seminar. Guys, look, if there's topics that are corona corona related in nature, share them with me. I'll try to get them on. Look, I, I'm not doing as much. I'm not doing as much of the 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 live day to day commentary and 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 updating that that. Brian and, and Richard are doing, but I'm trying to find content that is oriented towards what's going on. So um, next week, for example, Brian, I know we're almost out, but next week we're going to have um, a food psychologist on to talk about eating your feelings. Um, we're going to have somebody, uh, we're going to have a realtor come on and talk a little bit about the real estate market and then based on what's going on. And we're also going to have Nick from Mercedes come on and talk about some of the cool things that Mercedes is doing. So you guys have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>